Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss on cell edit client script. We are going to discuss the function of on cell edit and we are going to see the demo of on cell edit client script. So let's begin the video with what is on cell edit client script. On cell edit client script is different from on load, on change, or on submit client scripts. Why? Because we cannot apply the on cell edit client script on the forms of a table. We can only apply the on cell edit client scripts on the list view of a table. Okay, so here if a user try to update or edit the record from the list view, then on cell edit client script will run. Okay, here we can see the list of incidents, and if we try to update any one of the record of incident with the help of list view, then our on cell edit client script will run. Okay, for updating a record. In a list view, we have to double click the value which we have to update. For example, this is our incident record and if we try to update the sort description of it, we have to double click here and from here we can update the sort description. But if you want to perform some validation before the users update the record from the list view, then you can perform the validation with the help of on cell edit client script. Okay, and why it has been named on cell edit because this is a table and these are the cells of a table and if the user try to update any particular cells of a table then we are updating a cell of a table and that's why it has been named on cell edit client script. Okay, now let's see the function of on cell edit client script because it contains different parameters. Now we are on client script form and if we select the type on cell edit we can see the field name field is visible and it helps us in identifying for which field we have to apply the on cell edit client script. So if we select this we can see all the fields available for the incident table appears here and we can select any one of the field and apply the on cell edit client script okay. And if we scroll down we can see that our a script field is being populated with a function on cell edit which accept the parameters sys ids table old values new value callback and here we can see on the second line where save and close equals to true because our callback is a function which is going to accept the boolean value so it will be either true or false this will be accepting true or false now let's discuss these parameters what are these and what it will help right now we have seen that what is a callback it's a function which is going to accept a boolean value true or false we are going to see in detail what does it actually means so let's start with sys ids in the list view of a table a user can edit the multiple records at once all the user has to do is that click up a particular cell let's say sort description and click on control and right click and drag this then the user is updating the multiple records okay so the functionality is given to the user that the user can update the multiple records of a table in a single go in the list view okay and that's why in the client script you will see here it says sys ids okay ending with s why because the user is able to update multiple records and the sys ids will contain the array of all the sys id of the records which the user is updating in our case if we are trying to update these six incident okay then all these six incidents will have a unique id and that ids will be get stored in the sys ids parameter okay similar to this we have old values ending with s it will also contain the array of old values that the user is trying to change here if we try to change the sort discussion of these six incidents and if we double click on it here we can see it says six rows will be updated and the old value will be these values which are right now present and the new value will be the value which we will be updating okay so this is clear that sys ids will be the array of all the sys id of the records which our user is updating at once 
and old values will be the array of of all the old values which the user is updating for the records with the help of list view okay now we have table parameter table will be for which table a user is performing a cell edit in our case it's the incidents list so the table will be incident okay and callback is a function if we pass true in it save and close is true and if we pass true in it then the related on cell client script will execute and the changes which are made on the list will be implemented or the records will be updated but if we pass false here we update the value false here and we pass save and close it will be false then no related on cell added client script will run and the changes which are made by the users on the list view of a table will not get updated okay so this was the functionality of callback function and new value will be the value which the user is changing in our case if we try to update the six incidents sort descriptions and we double click on it and if we try to write something like xyz then this will be our new value and new value is singular why it is a singular because the new value can be a single value for which all the records will be getting updated if we save this then the new value for all these six incidents will be xyz and that's why the parameter is singular new value because new value will be one now let's see the values what they stores very quickly practically after that we are going to see the demo of it okay we had created a client script that is on cell edit client script and the field name value is sort description so if the user changes the sort description from the list view of the incident table then this particular client script will run okay and in the script what we have done is that we are logging the values of all the parameters which the on cell edit function is having okay and here if you notice that we have updated the value of save and close variable to false because we don't want to update the values this is just for demoing that what is the values actually the parameters of on cell edit function is having okay so if we try to update the first two incident sort description then click on this control right click and drag and we are going to update the value of sort description so double click on it okay and we will update to xyz okay and save it you will see that our on cell edit client script is working because it is not allowing us to change the sort description but where the values of the parameters will be shown it will be shown in the console so if we bring up the console control shift plus i now here you can see array 2 so this is our sys id so it contains the sys id of two records which we have updated okay and after that the table is incident okay and here we see the array 2 this is our old values array so the old value for the incidents are email password and test notification okay and the new value is xyz which we have updated and we have told that the callback is a function so we can see the function here okay now we have seen all the parameters of on cell edit function and what all the parameters contains okay now let's see the demo of on cell edit client script for the demo of on cell edit client script what we are going to do is that we will not allow the user to change the state of any one of the incidents from the list view to cancelled state so if we see we have multiple state for our incident so if we double click here we can see we have new in progress on hold resolve closed and cancelled we will not allow the user to change the state to cancelled in the list view of the incident table okay for this we are going to write the on cell edit client script because we are making a change in a cell of a table of incident but first we have to get the backend value of the cancelled state to get the backend value we have to open a form of incident it's loading now we can see that 
state field is present here if we right click on the label of a state we will see show choice list click on this and here in the table column we have to search for incident table so we will type incident and hit enter and after that we can see the label as well as the value so the value of cancelled will be 8 okay so this is the backend value or the system value for the cancelled state okay so this will be 8 now we are going to write a uh, on cell edit client script so we will open it configure client scripts okay new and in this we are going to give the name to client script state change to cancelled is not allowed okay it will be applicable on incident table ui type we can select all and the type will be on cell edit the field name will be the state correct and here we are going to type our script and before we start writing our script this is a very important note is that don't use g underscore form object okay why because we are working on the list view not on the form so if you try to do something with the help of g underscore form object then it can be the case that it will not work like getting a value or setting a value of a field okay because we are not working on the form we are working on the list view okay for this we are going to use another way how we can perform the validation regarding a particular record in it so we are going to see these things in our upcoming videos but for now don't use the g underscore form object because we are working on the list view not on the form of a table now let's write our script for the demo so we have to check the condition if new value is equals to 8 that is the backend value or the system value of cancel state and we have to alert the user alert state change to cancelled is not allowed okay and after that we are going to update the save and close variable to false save and close equals to false okay so we have written our script this is the script it will check the new value is equal equals to 8 alert the user and save and close will be false and it will call the callback function the save and close value will be false and it will not allow to make the changes okay so we are going to save this planned script and now we are going to go back to our incident list and remember if you are already on incident list always refresh the page because this is a client script and you have to refresh the page so that whatever the changes or the new client script you have made gets implemented into it okay so we are going to open the list of incidents with the help of filter navigator shortcuts you are going to type incident dot list it's going to open the list of incident okay now what we are going to do is that we are going to make the changes to the state of incidents so we will select two incident control right select these two incidents and we will try to change the state to cancelled so if we double click on it okay now we are changing it to cancelled you will see the alert okay and we are going to save it we can see that our on cell edit client script is working the alert is here state change to cancelled is not allowed if we click ok nothing will happen here ok now what happened is that the new value will be set to 8 and it will check if new value is equals to 8 it is then our alert appears and we update the save and close variable to false then callback function is called with value false 
and that's how the changes that we have made is not updated but if we change to another state like on hold okay and we save it then we can see that our incident state is changed and we don't see the alert here why because the state is changed to on hold not to cancelled okay now what happened here is that the new value is set to another value which is not equals to 8 so our save and close variable will not get updated to false okay so this particular block not run and our callback function is being called with the value of true okay and that's why whatever the changes we have made on the state fields get updated in the list view of the incident and that's how you can use the on cell edit client script to make any validation on your list view of a table okay so this was the end of the video if you like this video do share the videos with others subscribe the channel for more videos like this and thank you for watching this video bye bye